And thanks for staying with APTN National News. Quebec's Eastern First Nations are fighting oil exploration off the coast of Newfoundland. An alliance of Mi'kmaq, Maliseet and Innu nations say any spill in the Gulf of St. Lawrence risks serious damage to their traditional ways of life. Joining me now with more is Troy Jerome, a Mi'kmaq spokesperson for the alliance. Mr. Jerome, what do members of your alliance feel is at stake should the Old Harry oil drilling project be approved? Well, uh, primarily we're worried about our way of life. Um, we do uh, fish salmon in our waters here in the uh, in middle of June, July. And what happens is if they go ahead and they allow this license exchange to go through, uh, they could eventually end up drilling in the Gulf within three, four years. Uh, that We're very concerned about that. Uh, no one's ever drilled in the middle of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And these um, oil companies and even the government of Canada, Quebec and Newfoundland, they're not ready for any spill, let alone a large blowout. So uh, in terms of the quantity and quality of consultation of Indigenous peoples, how much has taken place so far and how would you, how would you rate it? Yeah, so far they did a uh, strategic environmental assessment from Newfoundland and from Quebec. Uh, we went there, we were very organized in coming there and putting our message forward. And I guess our clear message is that uh, we want the uh, Gulf to be studied as one whole ecosystem. In the strategic environmental assessment, they asked us uh, a number of questions. We came back and I guess asked them questions. What could happen to our way of life if there's a, an oil spill out there? And they're not able to answer that. It was clear from their studies that there's large knowledge gaps. Uh, there's a lot of things that are unknown. If something happens to the plankton, uh, how far up the food chain will we have problems? Now, with get, without getting into too much detail, can you explain how this license exchange may work and, and why you're opposed to that specifically? Yeah, what happens is that they had nine years to go forward and put their plan in place to drill, and that includes they must consult with us. So they came back and uh, said, we didn't. We know we must consult with you, we didn't, and we have to. Uh, so now they're using the fact that they didn't have time to consult with us to give them four more years. The Innu, the, the Mi'kmaq, and the Maliseet were here, very organized, waiting for this consultation to come into our hands. So we're saying that you know they shouldn't get another four years because they didn't have time to consult with us. Clearly, they're very... Uh, disorganized in terms of being able to do that. So we don't trust that they would ever be able to drill properly if they cannot even get their, um, get their ducks in order in the nine years that they already had. So what do members of the Alliance hope to see happen here? Yeah, we want the uh, Natural Resource Minister of Canada and the Natural Resource uh, Minister of Newfoundland to hear us clearly saying that within the four years, they will not have time to do the proper consultation uh, because they need to study the Gulf as one whole ecosystem and that we say it could take them 10 to 12 years. So we want them to let that expire. That license should expire on January 14 like it was meant to. And, and quickly now, uh, Inu, Maliseet, Mi'kmaq, has an alliance of this nature uh, ever formed before around any particular cause? Uh, maybe it has here and there, but just one thing is clear. We heard Jim Carr in the Energy East Pipeline Project saying that not all the First Nations are in the, in the same boat. In this case, we are all in the same boat. Uh, we had uh, the Innu Mi'kmaq Maliseet Alliance, and then we had a uh, number of organizations right across the Atlantic representing all the chiefs of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI, uh, and uh, the Gaspé Z, and then the Innu of Quebec. Everyone has written back to them saying this must not occur. This can't occur. Mr. Jerome, thank you. Thank you so much.